Megatron. And now it's like even if he was good, he's so fragile. Call for six, call for six. Yeah. And Brian Townsend with Queen 3, Jack. He's gonna push it up. Pass. Yeah, he's gonna buy himself the button with that raise and take oh. control of this part. Three thousand three. He's also got rid of Phil Ivy. Just leaves Patrick Antonius. Is he going to call to try and catch a set? There's yes. your answer. Now, of course, the problem with calling a raise against an aggressive player like this, even if you hit your six, you might not win a big pot. Exactly. Because Brian Townsend doesn't necessarily have to have a big hand. And here's an example. And this is actually a monster. Brian Townsend has top pair. Patrick Antonius has a set. How much money is Brian Townsend really going to lose with just Queen Jack here? And you can look at the percentages. 98% for Patrick Antonius. $8,000 bet for Brian Townsend. <laughs> We've already seen that Brian Townsend will bet his marginal hands. But, the, the, what they allow on t TV but can he get away from his marginal like hands? TV is a lot more liberal in it's going to be Europe. unusual. Uh, interesting to see how Patrick decides to play this. Does he just call the eight? Or does he go for the throat and raise it up? Yeah, it can be difficult sometimes when you're out of position. Well, here you can't say bloody, but this guy works on it. looks like he calls this. Pot is about $23,000 to the turn. King of Hearts doesn't really change anything. Pat Brian Townsend can't beat King-Queen, but he couldn't beat King-Queen before the King came. Okay. Patrick Antonius is really using Brian Townsend's aggressive nature against him. He's checked it, and he's going to let Townsend bet again. The bet's twenty thousand dollars. Pot is now forty-three thousand dollars. Twenty thousand to Patrick. Patrick, the Ice Man. Yeah, but you were down one nothing, <coughs> and then they ejected a Brazilian player. No, we were ahead one nothing. You were ahead one nothing, and they ejected a Brazilian player. Phil Ivey, sent off, yeah. just you for an interested so onlooker. Really, really sorry. I think it was one one when the guy got sent off, but it could have been one. Yeah, the there. fellow who scored the goal got sent off. Yeah, yeah, it was already. Is he going to check raise here? Is this the time yeah, to check raise right now? Well, if he does check raise, I think that king could have killed his action. Yeah, it's going to be very easy for Brian to give him kings and queens. 20,000 gold. He just calls. I think that's probably his best chance of getting on in this pot once that king's come down. Five, five. And how do you play the river, though? Last card. Out of position. You're almost hoping for a queen or a jack to four. come. Well, that's not it. That's a four diamonds. One more hand that Patrick could have there. Brian Townsend could put him on seven, eight. Pot is $63,000. <laughs> Patrick Antonius trying to decide how to play this. He's going to check it. And Brian Townsend does like to value bet his marginal holdings. It's going to be interesting to see whether he can sniff out his behind hit. Looks like he's still reaching for the black chips. And Brian Townsend, I really haven't seen more than one speed. I've seen one speed and one speed only. And he looks like he has a lot of money there. Looks like he has two black chips, I want to say. And those black chips are twenty-five thousand dollars. If you want to be a successful poker player, you have to have more than one speed. Let's see how he does this. Looks like only one black chip. You're right. It's one black chip, but a lot of red chips, 40, and it's a forty thousand dollar bet. Forty thousand dollar bet into a sixty-three thousand dollar pot. The pot's a hundred and three thousand, and at this point, if you're Patrick Antonius, do you raise, or do you put maybe? Are you scared of queens or kings? Hundred and three thousand dollar pot, forty thousand to Antonius. There's really only one hand he can get a call from here that he's in front, and that'd be Queen-King. 
I can't imagine him re-raising this one. Brian Townsend was the pre-flop raiser. He could have pocket queens, he could have pocket kings. And you're probably right, nothing else would call a raise. Phil Ivey watching on intently. For once, he's not the one getting beaten up in the pot. It's his fellow big loser, Brian Townsend. And at this point, does Brian Townsend even want to call? You can feel the tension. <laughs> Cards, Patrick Antonio says not going to fold here. I'm pretty sure of that. Just deciding whether he should raise, whether there's any value to the raise. Looks like he's counting out a number of black chips in this pot. That looks like a raise. raise. Yeah, it's a big raise. 150,000. He makes it 150,000 dollars. I think Brian Townsend's just realized his hand's no good. I was wondering if Brian Townsend actually wanted a call. He certainly didn't want that. And the, is it exactly? and the pot is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, a hundred and ten thousand to call. Brian definitely not happy to see the rays there on the river. He's reaching for his chips. Wow, is he really going to call this? What hand can he beat? What hand would Antonius call the flop with, the turn with, and then raise the river with that he can beat? What has he convinced his, himself that his opponent's got? You wonder, he can't beat 7 8, and look at that, Cold. he calls! Oh, I three cannot sixes. believe it, we have the biggest pot at the million dollar cash game $363,000. Unbelievable. $363,000. Masterfully played. I don't know if I'd have uh, tried to go for the value re-raise on the end. I just couldn't imagine that Brian Townsend would call with a hand like that. He has a more power to Patrick Antonius's arm. He's just won an absolute monster.